Hello and welcome back to Late Bloomer. Um, today I'll be talking about a book I read a few months ago. Um, it's called Walk Two Moons. So I read this book in middle school and I, where did I, I think I saw it at the bookstore or thrift store, I don't remember. And I was like, what? I have to get this, I have to buy this again. So I read it a few months ago. This book is about a young girl who lives in middle school and she is missing her mom who left her and her dad. So in the book, you know, her dad and she and her dad, they moved to a different state. Um, and she makes this friend and the friend's name is Phoebe. Sal, the main character, she goes on this trip with her uh, grandparents to see her mom. And with them, she tells them the story of her friend Phoebe and all these kind of adventures they went on. And so Phoebe's life story helps or uh, the situation in, in the story about Phoebe helps Sal understand why her mom left. And yeah, the book, I don't know what I noticed. Okay, first I just wanna say this. <laughs> Kids books, they are so deep. <laughs> Kids novels are, children's novels or preteen novels or whatever. Sometimes these authors, they make them so deep. Um, but it was, uh, the story was very, this book was very tragic. I don't know, it, it left me pretty upset at the end. There's a lot of death and, um, and it's weird because it's a, it's a kid's book and there's a lot of death, which is okay but it was just too much and kind of unnecessary. Uh, Sal's uncles, I, I don't think she ever met them, but like the author talks about how they died and it's all like, they all have these tragic, um, these tragic violent deaths. And I'm like, why? That's, that's so weird. But yeah, I started reading it again because I just felt like when I read it, I didn't, I read it way too quickly. I read it really quickly and I didn't get to process everything and like process how I'm feeling. And so I've been reading it again, very, very slowly. I wrote some notes. Phoebe's mom and Aunt Sal's mom. You can tell they struggled with depression. The mom didn't understand it. The moms didn't understand it, so instead of dealing with it, they left to deal with it. Instead of dealing with it at home and talking to their uh, significant other or their husbands um, or kids, they leave. <sighs> and that, that always upsets me because in this past year, I've struggled a lot with my own depression and um, I got the help that I needed. I, there were resources and it's just that I just noticed in books and television and movies, there would be a character that has mental distress and um, it's like a person would save them, you know? <laughs> Somebody would save them. They just, they wouldn't go to therapy or get um, just help or these characters are called crazy and people are mad at them. And that's the thing, that's the thing that irritates me a lot. And maybe going to therapy and getting, um, seeing a psychiatrist, maybe that makes a story less interesting I wouldn't be so angry. <laughs> and like, yeah, I get this. It's not always easy to get help. I get that. But these are stories. <laughs> like, why 
why do they make it so frustrating? It's just like, I'm just tired of, um, and I've, I've been seeing this on social media. I, well, I saw last year how uh, a lot of people talk about how media uh, romanticizes uh, uh, mental illness. Okay, this is what they do. They either romanticize mental illness or um, they make it like this insane, creepy thing, you know? And that's just, that's just, a, oof, it irritates the heck out of me, you know? It's like when you just, when these people don't deal with their stuff, when people don't deal with their issues, it affects the people around them. <laughs> like Sal. It affected Sal, the main character. I know I didn't say much about the book, um, but these were just kind of my thoughts and feelings about it. And I'm gonna read it again. I mean, I am, I'm, I'm reading it again, but trust, I'm going to um, make another video about this book and I'm definitely gonna say my thoughts again and maybe a little bit more about the characters because this, this was um, very spontaneous. <laughs> so next time it'll be much more um, planned out. But anyway, thank you for coming <laughs> and watching this video. I wanna show you my hair. Yes, this is all mine, no weave. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, it is all mine. Um, the hair, my hairstylist did so great. It's tight, it's very tight, but she did such a lovely job. Have a good weekend, or actually have a weekend. Okay, bye. <laughs>